I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn with your Citizen Florida Tropical Update as we're looking at things. Still watching Harvey as it continues a slow push inland into the southeastern part of the United States, causing a lot of flooding concerns not only just in Texas, but continue to spread eastward into Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, and then even some of the Florida Panhandle and Alabama. Now 10 that we're looking at potential tropical cyclone number 10 not expected to develop into a tropical storm instead is going to continue in a very northeasterly path and pull it away from the U.S. but still causing some problems around in the uh, North Carolina area as it continues then finally to push on out. But we are watching another wave that's coming off the coast of Africa and this one's going to be a little bit more interesting looking at a pretty high chance of development in the next five days. In fact that's now up to 90 percent. Development is likely possibly a very long-lived tropical cyclone as we're watching this invest area number 93. Now our forecast and tropical takeaways where well, we're looking at tropical storm Harvey, heavy rain and a tornado risk in the panhandle of Florida, the tropical low leaving the Carolinas, so no Florida threat, but invest 93, a big possible story for next week and something that we will be keeping an eye on. Here is our moisture monitor. You can see where Harvey is and continue to pull in Texas and Louisiana coastline. And then this moisture plume coming up in the Gulf of Mexico and bringing an abundance of moisture stretching along the uh, Gulf Coast and then all the way back into the northern half of Florida. And we're going to be seeing things staying sort of wet at least the next uh, day or two. There is that moisture connection as it continues to come on up. And then Harvey's, we're tracking it moving Wednesday, Thursday, and near closer to Arkansas, and then Friday approaching the Tennessee Valley. So it's going to be a very slow moving system that brings a lot of rain, but also a tornado risk. And that even includes parts of the Florida Panhandle and then back into Alabama, that more moderate risk, so a little bit more inland towards Jackson, Mississippi. Now, rainfall total is going to be quite impressive over the next uh, three days. We're looking anywhere from two to three inches as you're going right around the Big Bend area and then back around two to three inches also around Pensacola. Locally amounts could be around four to six inches in some of those localized areas. Now our tropical satellite here is investigation area number 93 as you're watching coming off the coast of Africa. Again, you are expecting good potential development with this storm as it continues moving westward to the U.S. and that's now about 90 percent chance that it will be developing. Here is the pass as we're looking at the model saying where it's going to go. Not that much confidence of it's going to be going north, but take a look at this. Some interesting development is where it's going to be taking it under which part of the Caribbean or if it's going to be carrying it a little bit more up into the Gulf, but something that we will be watching over here in the next few days.